Today's notes are going to be about pH and the pH scale. One of the things that you need to make sure that you write down is that pH stands for percent hydrogen. So make sure you have that, percent hydrogen. Substances can be classified as either being an acid, a base, or they can be neutral. And here's just a picture, an example of um, a, what the pH scale looks like, where your battery acid would be located, milk, lye, things like that. So the pH scale is a scale that ranges from 0 to 14. 7 is considered neutral. Anything below 7 is an acid, and anything above 7 is a base. Uh, the further the pH level is from neutral, so the further away it is from 7, the stronger the acid or the base. We're going to use lots of indicators uh, in class, in our experiments, in the lab, and an indicator is used to help determine if a substance is an acid, a base, or if it's neutral. Some of the characteristics of acids are that acids taste sour, they react with metals, they turn litmus paper red, and they have a pH of less than 7. Acids have hydrogen at the beginning of their chemical formulas. Um, and again, it says taste sour, but it's not a good idea to go around tasting acids. Okay. Then we have bases, and bases taste bitter. They feel slippery, so lots of soaps are bases. They feel very slippery. Um, bases can turn litmus blue. They dissolve fats and oils, which is why they're good to use as soaps. And they have a hydroxide, or an OH. Um, at the end of its chemical formula. A neutralization reaction occurs when an acid is mixed with a base and then it's a special kind of double replacement reaction where salt and water are always produced. So you have an acid plus a base and it's going to end up producing salt, not necessarily table salt, the kind of salt that you eat, there are lots of different kinds of salt. It's going to produce salt and water. Also during a neutralization reaction, the properties of the acid and the properties of the base are destroyed once they get mixed together. We're going to be doing a lab about this. We'll also be doing some online activities. So these are the basics that we're, you need to know about acids and bases before we start those. That's all for today.